So what you are seeing right now is what most content creators will not show you. It is just a mess. It's a lot of try-ons that have to happen to nail the looks that we are going for. So this is the state of it. I wanted to show you the screen I recently bought. This is like a window pane. That's how I call it, but I'm sure there is, there is a name, a proper name for it. I'll unfold it later so you can see what it is because I had a vision. I've always loved these window panes. I feel like they're so cool. A lot of them have like Chinese drawings. So, and I was thinking I can actually use that whenever I start doing live videos, live try-ons. You can ask me your styling questions and stuff like that. I can, you know, hide behind this, get dressed, try on, you know, stuff for you and just have fun and hang out. So that's why I got it. After I clean up my whole closet, I will unfold it and we can have a vision behind it. I am so excited. I actually got it from, I think, Goodwill for $14. So not too shabby. I like it. I like it. Yes. I'll show you my outfit of the night, I guess. <laughs> it's nighttime here. So this is just a simple dress. I call it those, you know, house dresses, abuela dresses. I love them. They're so comfortable. I thrifted this one and I have plenty of them like this. I mean, I wear them out in town. They got pockets. They're so comfortable with sneakers. You can wear them with anything, honestly, and dress it up or dress it down. So I love those flowy, cute dresses from home. Very relaxed, chic, and casual. And of course, my regular house shoes, comfortable. And yeah, so this is what we're working with right now. I will pop up the tripod and I can start really organizing my closet again okay sis i'm going to start picking up the clothes on the ground and put them here on this rack yeah i've been also receiving some orders and of course i'm busy during the week so. but this is if you remember the um skirt belt that i showed you i actually share that in my community page sis if you don't check it out check it out if you are not subscribed you may be missing out on because a lot of times whenever i style pieces for example in my lookbooks or in my try on videos or styling videos that of sis are like hey where did you get this so i decided i'm like you know what whenever i buy something i would like to share it with you either in a video or you know quickly um, in a community post this way it's still available I can include the link and share it with you so this is such a purchase I made recently and I love it this is from shop Akira and I love it it's so neat it's such like a beautiful layering piece over anything I mean loving it so I'll insert a picture so you have a vision I ordered the LXL and it's a little bit too long because it's stretchy it's not too bad like i can actually it can technically fit like if i fasten the first two buttons the other two are kind of like hanging out here so i can put like a pen or something it's not too bad like you see the difference is not really too bad but it's stretchy just be aware if you're buying it probably go size it down so it can fit better but i feel like i'd rather it fit like this than be too tight you know so yeah i cannot just add like a pen or something whenever i'm wearing this but i love it it's such a beautiful layering piece it's very edgy and of course denim you know about denim it's everywhere so this is definitely a piece that you won't even see everywhere neither so i got this and i'm so glad i will put it up now Oh, I need those hangers, those skirt hangers. I'll be back. No, so sis, tell me, how have you been doing recently? Um, how is work, your whole life in general, family, spiritual, all that? <laughs> how has it been going? For me, I feel like I'm more into a reflective stage of a year because I cannot believe already that the first quarter is gone. And, you know, I've had goals, especially with my YouTube to be really grinding, grinding and increase, um, you know, work on growing our community and this channel. So hopefully I'm really praying that we'll get to 1K soon. I told my family, I said, whenever I get to 1K, 
we're gonna go out and eat and celebrate because sis <laughs> the grind is serious the hustle is serious oh my gosh i've had this channel since august 2020 yes almost three years can you believe it so i'm like come on now come on now i need to be getting somewhere so i'm very very hopeful for this year for sure i mean for sure the way we are heading um we already at 800 something by the time i post this video so yes 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 so it's also a testimony that you know i am nowhere where i want to be of course <laughs> but you know do not give up in life nothing is easy even for something that is your passion that you know you have a gift for that people appreciate you know you know that you can use that to do something powerful and you know um, help other people impact other people's lives it still work it really is still work and of course i pray my prayer honestly is to make it a full-time a full-time living honestly i really want to work with it i really want to work with styling clients to be a stylist and i didn't go to school for that but i feel like when you have that innate talent you know that is god given and you work on it you develop it i mean why not why not you know we need to dream big and this is definitely what i'm working towards so i'm still working in corporate america I'm still thankful for a paycheck, but sis, honestly, I would love to be a, a personal shopper, stylist, and all that at once, of course, um, fashion YouTuber, really, you know, working every day, going to print stores, going to stores, going to do videos. My message is really unique, I believe, you know, there's a lot of fashion, modest fashion bloggers, but modesty is not really something that you see often. And I feel like this is a unique take on fashion. And um, yeah, I mean, I love it. I really love it because I really believe you can still be modest and be fun and edgy and elegant and feminine and play with the trends and all these things. So, you know, we can still have fun and play with fashion and, and also share the message of hope in Christ. And this is something I'm so passionate about as well. So, yeah. This is what I'm grinding um, on right now. Yeah, it's already April, and so hopefully by June we can reach a 1K. And I have been, oh my gosh, I need to do a big purge, which I'll be, I'll start doing again in the next, I'll say beginning of, at the end of next week, I think I can start really like, since it's gonna be a real purge. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be, everything must, no, not everything must go. No, 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 no. <laughs> You know, I love my stuff. I'm a maximalist. Uh, but I really need to do a radical purge. Definitely. I have a lot of dresses that I don't wear anymore that don't really trigger joy in me. Like the Marie Kondo um, principle. But, you know, a lot of things that I'm not really drawn to. You know, just start taking up space and cluttering pretty much my options. So we'll definitely do that together. Um, I started already with the skirts and whatnot and blazers a few months back last year, but we will go really ham and really curry it, my closet. And I hope that this will also encourage you to do the same for your closet. It's really good for some spring cleaning, like a new beginning, you know, um, also decluttering every part of your life, your home, you know, really revisiting um your goals your career goals spiritual family relationship you name it so financial everything so yeah i went thrifting recently and i posted a video about yeah thrift with me i went to three good wheels i need to style those pieces yes one of the most beautiful like i don't know if it's a dress or a coat whatever it is but it is gorgeous vintage piece
everything I keep on this rack means that I'll be working on the styling for those pieces. So I have to be organized like that. Okay, so I thrifted that, that. You remember that I thrifted this beautiful bomber as well. Yes, remember the, um, oh yes, the beads. Let me get closer. Oh, now it's gonna catch. Yeah, so you saw the beads and stuff. This is a vintage Horsley um, bomber jacket. I love the color. Very cool. And I got this bolero as well. Very cute and feminine. I love it. And so for a bag, I bought this animal print clutch, you know. Isn't this cool? Isn't this cool? Yes. Yes. I am loving it. Or you can just hold it, you know, by the wrist for my denim series. And so some more some more styles are coming out soon whenever we start actually filming it's it's work <laughs> it takes us like so many hours and by the time i'm done i just throw it on the ground until i can recuperate get refreshed and a few days later come back and pick it up and hang it again so this is actually um a piece i bought on zara's website I said Zara and then I'm like, oh, there is an S missing, Zara's website. <laughs> so yeah, this is very edgy. It's like a slit here um, through which your arms come out. But I think this is such a nice layering piece. I'll insert the picture on the website. It's available right now. I believe it's what, $35, something like that. But I was like, eh, I'm not going to wait for the sales. This is such a nice piece. It's black, it's gonna go everything. You can wear like a bodysuit and still wear that and still be covered and edgy at the same time. So those are really special pieces like that that I look for whenever I am shopping. And I don't know, since I'm showing it to you, I don't think I need to do a special haul. What do you think? Would you like me to try it on just in case? Okay, I think I'll do that. And this is another pair of wide leg pants I bought from Zara as well. I am telling you, anytime I hear wide leg pants, I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> so I ordered this and I love it. This is like poplin, which is um, cotton. And so it's very different from the ones that I have. And this is definitely cute. It's like low waisted, but I like it because I always wear like a long um, blazer anyways, like a tunic. It's gonna look so good with a tunic, a long blazer. And stuff like that it is $49 $49.90 on the website right now I will insert the picture and also the link I guess we're doing a Zara haul right now aren't we I mean since it's part of everything that I have on the floor here and this is a nice piece as well from Zara and last year they actually had over Christmas um, another version of this it was like a deep red almost like burgundy red um velour like velvet version of this dress but i love this very cute like peplum dress pretty much and so this of course i intend to wear something underneath it so i will definitely do a video you know with it something like also like a layering piece like the top i just showed you with a long sleeve so look really nice to create like a black and red combo yes so statue so i need to put up oh my gosh i love 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 these jeans oh my gosh this is from zara you know me and wide leg already i am not a skinny jeans skinny pant type of girl and these are so comfortable and i wore like a deeper um wash version um to church last sunday i went to the picture and i am in love i mean you feel like you're floating very stylish very 70s very edgy i am in love with it you can wear this with anything i'm definitely done with that this is a no boundaries um denim faded um shirt that i bought from walmart i bought it who oh, maybe two years ago in the men's department and i love it yes i love it i love the masculine type of edgy look with that and of course you can always like 
look make it look more feminine with the skirts oh yes yes with some pumps some stilettos a pair of sandals very chic very nice <laughs> have this another pair of Zara jeans that I recently bought and I just loved this patchwork I think it's really neat and I mean it's kind of sold out but I think they still restock it I was like you know what I will definitely get it this is very edgy um, I feel like because denim is so trendy right now this is definitely the perfect time for you to really appropriate all of the pieces that you may not find otherwise so it is so cool you see the patchwork and i really like zara's jeans i feel like they are really soft they're not stiff which i like i can appreciate because for somebody like me who loves to be comfortable with like skirts and dresses and wide leg pants i cannot do a stiff pair of jeans i mean <laughs> It's just so weird so i like it this is baggy and this is a kimono i used for one of the styling that i need to put up now i love this kimono oh my gosh it is so neat so bright i love the colors let me get closer yes oh beautiful this is cotton as well and this is from midget giraffe which is a brand um that i think they're located in new york Atlanta. I think it's New York but I order from them um, here and there I like the brand honestly I believe I have also spotted like a kimono from the brand um, on this channel which is a black and white kimono and this is a second one I purchased oh, yes yes <laughs> Another piece that I use for my styling, my denim styling, is in a pair of overalls. So, me yeah, and overalls, I think I love more the wide leg baggy overalls like style. This also has a twist, it's not a regular overall because it's like a squat kind of. Not a squat, it's like a skirt up front. As you can see, beautiful, isn't that? awesome yes and you know me i'm always looking for the odd piece something that looks so different i bought this from it's a store in what was it from turkey i forgot the name but i've had this for like five years so i love this i mean even with a blazer very edgy very chic and cool very modest as well yeah it from it was from the modest store in turkey gearing mostly to muslim women so that's where i found this oh we are seeing the mythical zara trench coat the denim one that everybody's looking for but most people cannot find yes i like it it's not it's not too bad it's not too bad it's kind of right to find such a piece in denim so i wanted to take advantage and purchase it so this is definitely a timeless piece that you know one can keep we have this pair of gray faded jeans Kind of like acid wash which i love and i used it for my styling with the white kimono if you remember and i am loving the fit of it i feel i think it's like a cool lot but also like a gaucho it's not really gaucho but you know it's a bit shorter it comes down to my above my ankles and i love the style of this i think it's so edgy and i wore this with my black platform boot i believe and yeah it's such an edgy look and i bought it from salvation army so this is the kimono i was wearing i need to put it up as well 
Yes, so it really helps for me, like whenever I'm not too exhausted at night, to actually prepare my upcoming shootings and filming. So most of the shootings that you see of the pictures I take of the pictures or um, videos I take outside are done by my 11 year old son. So it's a mother and son kind of team thing. I feel so blessed because a lot of people want to get into content creation, but they don't have anybody take pictures for them or videos. So yes, we work together. And I told him one day, one day, when we get monetized, when we get some income, some revenue from it, you get your cats. <laughs> you know, I think it's really important to encourage our kids because he really does it with his heart, you know. And he, as young as he is, you know, it's not easy, you know. You don't care about fashion and your mom has to change and change and you have to go out under the sun, take pictures, you know, because these days... In this world where we live in right now, anything that has to do with content, video, editing, graphic design, anything in the digital world, sis, you need to learn some of it. And also if you're a mom, if you have young kids under your care, you need to encourage them to also get into it. This is the future. <laughs> because every company has to market their work um, with a video form, which means editing, which means SEO, graphic design, thumbnail, all this stuff, you know, that you learn as a content creator. And I think this is such a great opportunity. If you don't work in marketing, for example, or social media for a company, you are your own brand, you know, whatever you want, you know, what in whatever you want to do in life, you want to be an author, you want to be a coach, anything that has to do, even cooking and baking and selling it to people you need a facebook page you need you know social media and videos and so there are billions of people around the world always connected on to the internet to youtube and other platforms so take advantage of it sis i know that for a certain generation it may seem overwhelming but we can always learn anything always at least the basics you know like when we first started my videos my husband was the one actually filming me editing i i felt intimidated honestly by the software i'm not the most tech-minded person and so i mean and it works he works outside of a home i didn't know how to do it and he was the only one and then he works so he's busy and i was thinking one day i said wow i mean i probably need to learn to do it on my own so i have more Mm, I can do it on my own whenever he's not available you see what I mean so also since this is something I want to do long term and hopefully one day as a career I need to really overcome that block of you know learning tech or whatever it was you know that that I could not wrap my mind around and learn the basics and it's been two years now and I've been editing my own videos and I love it I love the process of um you know, just, you know, picking transitions, music, cutting parts, making it. And you actually see my style. Every editor has their own style. For example, for me, I think my creative side comes into styling pieces and also into the way I, um, I edit the videos as well, how I put them together. Like, I have more of a creative style, like a bit more dramatic because I love those. <laughs> I'm into those pauses and, you know music and you know the transition turning right and fast forward and you know that's how i like to play with art because this is art honestly it's like you're creating a movie and i really wanted to make it a very pleasurable experience for you sis honestly whenever you're watching it's like watching a movie watching a real fashion show not just about here's what i bought here's what i bought you know but really immersing you into my fashion world you know into Doris, you know, five chic models and how you can be creative and artsy and uh, just enjoy it in the process. So yeah, this is my my style. And sometimes I'm thinking like, am I still going to be editing my videos? Because I feel like only me really know what I want from a video, the effects I want to make and also your best profile. You know, we all have this, you know, you know, <laughs> we all 
have our things about you know maybe the left side the right side you know maybe on the on the side you know um the midsection is not really giving um you can cut this out <laughs> i mean i've been real with you sis nobody's perfect we all have our own things that we may not like or we feel like you know can be edited out or you know things like that yeah it's funny but yeah any message i mean you want to put out there about you as a brand as a person has to be through video through a video form you know nobody reads blogs anymore really because i don't and i used to like 10 years ago when everything just really exploded blogs were huge now it's vlogs you know it's the video form and there's so much content being produced that um you have to stay I'll say abreast of things that are going on. I mean, with your own twist without necessarily copying everybody. Like, I don't see myself, for example, doing so many of those challenges. TikTok, oh my gosh. Let's talk about TikTok, sis. This is a whole different animal because I got seven followers on TikTok. <laughs> because whatever video I published on Instagram, I post also on TikTok. And sis, it's not giving. And I'm like, this is a whole full-time job. I don't know. So that's why if you're on TikTok, sis, go follow me there to give me some strength. Because it's rough over there. I am focusing more on YouTube to grow this platform. And then I can create shorts from the reels I'm creating. And save them there. Transfer them for now. Because... This is a whole two full-time jobs, you know, keeping up with social media. I'm trying. I'm trying with my full-time job and everything. I am trying. Oh, next we have actually another look. Not sure if you have, you will have seen it by the time I am posting this video. But this is the pair. Oh, I think I showed that actually. This pair of wide leg pants from Zara. This is the gabardine um, fabric that I talked to you about. I love this. I'm telling you. Anytime you see anything about wide leg pants, count me in. And also something that I really feel strongly about this is to really encourage you to go for your dreams. You know, I know sometimes, especially if you are a caregiver of little ones or a parent or caregiver to your parents, to your children, whatever. We put ourselves last as in we postpone our own goals and dreams, you know go for it because time waits for no one and i feel like i feel more fulfilled i am also raising a family um working and also working on my dreams on something i enjoy i feel i feel more fulfilled like i'm working on something for me i'm also developing my own skills and talents and working on a passion project something that makes me happy I also see the awesome feedback. Thank you so much for you, sis. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for you guys. I see also men um, subscribing to my channel. So <laughs> I'm like, should I just say sis? I mean, it's a channel for women, but you know. Um, thank you, you know, anybody who subscribed to my channel because it's really encouraging. It's really encouraging. So go for it. You always start with one person and you never know where it's going to go. It's all about knowing your own body and dressing your own body in a way that makes you feel good and confident. So definitely that's what I own. This is a maxi skirt from Zara from about a year and a half ago. This came fast and quickly left as well the website. So the thing is like enough people cannot find some Zara pieces why am I able to catch so many of a good 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 things is that when I work I have my monitor on the side my home monitor I have my work laptop and if I really want an item sis 
I keep on refreshing throughout the day. There, I said it. Keep on refreshing the page throughout the day. And before you know it, your size is back in stock and there you go. So this is what I do. I seem to be restocking at night sometimes. So it has worked well for me, this method, to touch some of the most prized. Oh, I need to wash that one. This is like the long um, button down, white button down shirt. I need to wash it. It's got some makeup on it. It's really starting to look like something up in here. And let me see. This is just a simple, also Zara maxi skirt it's more like a pencil style simple fast free very feminine and chic at the same time i also styled um this vest in that video and um i love this salvation army as well i'm telling you sis are you into thrifting because if you are not you are missing out on so many things good stuff from there I have this jacket, acid wash again, from Salvation Army as well, I believe, and I am loving this, so edgy. I'll insert the short, so excited to actually pair it with the denim maxi skirt to make it a denim, a denim look. <laughs> The floor is completely empty, <laughs> completely bare. Oh, it's so fulfilling. Oh, have I shown you those two cuties that I recently bought from Shop Akira? And they are a beaut, I love the boxy shape. Yes, the orange and the pink color they actually had a blue one but then it went fast it was sold out but i am glad with what i got anybody who he has never seen this bag this is from zara and there is a denim version as well a denim version that is this one so yeah this is very nice i will put up those um shirts later and this is a rack right now. I have yet to put up some of the stuff on the other racks over there by category. But at least nothing else is on the ground. This is a clean slate for me to be recording more videos for you. And so let me show you this um, window pane I was talking about. This is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, I mean, this is beautiful. I can get changed, you know, behind it. If we turn around... This is how it looks like. I guess those will be called like what door panes. I'm not sure. Panels. Let me know in the comments. But the foldable, it's very light, so it won't really take up too much, um, too much space. I love it. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous for our purpose. So whenever I go thrift shopping, I don't just go for clothes. I also shop for my for my children, for the hobby, for the kitchen. I get a lot of china, my china dishes from the thrift store as well. So there's a lot of things that I don't necessarily show because it's a fashion channel, but I thrift for pretty much everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as you helped me you know i had your more support <laughs> for my cleaning um for this video so thank you so much i hope that you have enjoyed chatting with me and seeing a few more um, new pieces i've added to my wardrobe and also 
the upcoming videos to have a sneak peek stay tuned make sure that you have subscribed to my channel if you have not seen what are you waiting for i am so appreciative of all your support and love and so the closet is clean now i can start filming again and planning for new videos and making some more mess and clean up <laughs> a cycle of life it's a labor of love and uh, it's really worth it when i see your comments so many people you know subscribing liking my videos sharing it so it's really rewarding see you soon like this video comment subscribe share and uh, yeah stay blessed bye